What's up, everyone? My name is Alan, founder and consultant at Fortnite Marketing, and welcome to day six of Brazemus 2023. In the last few videos, we've been talking about the different data that lives in Brace. And today, let's talk about what's possibly the most important data to ingest in Brace, custom events and purchase events. Custom events and purchase events are like the bread and butter of Brace. Custom events are the bread you need it to survive. And purchase events are the butter. It's nice to have and can be helpful in many situations. But among the hundreds of Braze dashboards I've worked with, custom events play a much more crucial role than purchase events. Today, we'll focus on custom events. Custom events are actions taken by the consumers on your mobile app or website. So on day two, we described custom attributes as adjectives and custom events as verbs. So every button click as well as other actions on the website or mobile app can be logged as a custom event. And it's up to Nike to decide which of these actions are worth tracking as custom events on the user profile. So let's say Nike wants to know which of these big rectangular modules are being clicked on by their users. And there's a ton of these modules. We have GIFs 30 and under, GIFs 50 and under, 100 and under, the latest AF1s, best of basketball, and so many more. So they can program every module click to log a custom event called clicked underscore module. And then later on, Nike can look at consumers who perform the clicked module custom event at least once, more than 10 times, or none at all, and send different types of reactivating messages to these users to nudge them to continue their re-engagement on the Nike website or go ahead and get started if they haven't clicked on anything. So if I click GIFs 30 and under, we can hypothetically see something like this on our Braze user profile clicked module just a few seconds ago, count one. That was performed by us just now. So the biggest purpose of custom events is that they serve as the trigger action for our Braze campaigns and canvases to send to our consumers. Some of our most important lifecycle journeys like onboarding flow or post-purchase flow and many more are triggered by milestone custom events like account created or purchase completed. In addition to triggering messages, custom events serve as conversion events, the key data source for many reporting features in Braze, and just overall are connected to many parts of Braze. So a very robust Braze team is equipped with a great list of custom events, not an overwhelming amount, but just enough to be flexible in how they reach their users and have a good system in place to request additional custom events as needed to be tracked by their engineering team. In the next video, we will learn about custom event properties and purchase events. That's it for day six. If you have any questions, please share them in the comments below. We're happy to help. If you learned something new from this video, please subscribe for more awesome Braze videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.